When you hear someone talking about the dark net, what they usually mean is actually the network of hidden websites on the Tor network. But what is the Tor network? Before I start explaining, make sure to sign up for the Fuji Tribe waitlist on Fuji.codes. More on that later. The Tor network, short for the Onion Router, is an anonymizing network that allows you to browse the internet with privacy and security. It works by routing internet traffic through a series of encrypted layers, also known as nodes, which are operated by people like you and me all around the world. Each node only knows the IP address of the previous and next nodes in the chain, and that is why it's difficult to get the IP of the person who made the original request, since you would have to go to each server and tell them to give you the IP of the request sender. This makes it difficult for the feds, big tech, or even hackers to track our online activities providing a degree of anonymity. That's why people use Tor to access some interesting sites without any logs on them. The thing is, this just makes it difficult and not impossible to find you. For example, if you did something really heinous, the feds will track you down no matter what. But let's dive a bit deeper into these mysterious nodes and what they do under the hood. Nodes are categorized into three different components. Entry nodes, middle nodes, and exit nodes. Entry nodes are the first point of contact when connecting to the Tor network. When you initiate a connection to the Tor network, the traffic is encrypted and routed through a more or less randomly selected entry node. This node knows your IP address, but not the contents of the actual request. Next, the connection is routed through the middle node or usually multiple ones, just to increase the difficulty of tracking you down. And again, each middle node only knows the IP of their previous node. Now, while Tor is used for nefarious purposes like hackers, millions of people, including me, use it to increase the privacy and prevent our ISPs from seeing things they shouldn't see. Technically, you could also use VPNs, but in my opinion, VPNs are also part of big tech. Now, to give you a little demonstration of how the term network works, Works, let's write a Python script that connects to the Tor network and sends a request to httpmin.org to get our IP. First, we need to import everything we need from the stem package to establish a connection to the Onion router. Let's create a function called getTorSession that will create a request session with the TorSox5 port as our proxy, meaning it will route the request through the proxy which Tor enables for us. Just make sure you have set the port for the Sox port and control port in your TorRC file somewhat like this. We can then create a function called renewConnection, which will initialize the Tor controller on the port 9051, which we set in our Torracy. Now you could use a password to authenticate yourself, but you can also leave a blank. If you want to use one, make sure to hash it and put it in your Torracy as well. We can then send a signal to Tor to establish a completely new connection and then check if the just created circuit is available. We can do that by calling the isNewNIWAM available method on our controller. We can then print basic information about all our circuits. Once we run the file, you will start to see some IP addresses indicating that our script works just fine. But let's say you want to route all your traffic through Tor for every single request you make. You would have to use a service called Proxy Chains, and it's actually very easy to do. I'll link some videos in the description if you're interested in that. Before you click off, make sure to sub and like if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you want to learn how to code and make money from it, visit Fuji.codes and sign up for the waitlist. I'm building a platform called Fuji Tribe where developers and newbies can learn coding and build businesses using new technologies. You will also build some insane projects that you can monetize later on, but I don't want to leak anything yet. By the way, the code for this demo is on GitHub, and as always, till next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.